uh, conditions, right? So the set is the internal conditions, and the setting is the external conditions. So this is what we talk about um, when we talk about surroundings and environment. Where are you taking this substance? Are you taking it at a, at a transformational festival with thousands of people dancing around you to super loud drum and bass at 2 a.m. Um, under the stars, which could be absolutely amazing, but maybe it's really cold also. And just the, there are conditions that are, can be overly stimulating to a process that can be extremely personal and vulnerable. Um, and so that's one way to, to interact with psychedelic substances, right? And then there are other ways where, which currently they're being coined as like the therapeutic model of taking it in a control environment, perhaps with a music playlist that you've curated uh, beforehand, perhaps having an, all your little needs, your glass of water, your chapstick, your sweater, your scarf, I love to have my hoodie on, try it, it's amazing. And um, you have maybe a guide next to you or a sitter, someone that can uh, help you out in case you need help. Basically a, a, a permissive space and a place where you can feel like you can be vulnerable. Um, so that makes a difference. Okay, it definitely makes a difference in the experience. And again, utilizing or caring for the set and setting before uh, deciding, or after deciding, but before ingesting the substance is again, like buying insurance against, against those bad trips. And in my experience, honestly, it minimizes, preparation really minimizes those bad trips by 90, 95% probably. Not exaggerating. Um, so that's a set and setting, okay, which is super important. And then to those concepts of taking the liberty, again, this is uh, knowledge that I've collected and kind of translated on my own, there's the idea of skill set. So I'm adding skill set to the set and setting. Skill set is a, a navigation skill set, as in a skill set that a person can learn before they go into a journey that has specific guidelines on how. A, how to maneuver through that psyche space. So basically that includes different grounding techniques, maybe different accessories that you can utilize, saying different prayers, uh, learning how to be in dialogue with the medicine, how to interact with it, uh, how to um, transmute through moments of fear and resistance if you should encounter those, so you can actually dive deeper instead of running away from it, which is that's what actually causes those bad trips again. So there is an entire, uh, guideline, there's really like a, a whole, a very long list of guidelines that one can read before the journey and so they can have more agency in knowing how to navigate through that space. They're not completely um, powerless over the experience. They, we, all of us have agency if we choose to partake with psychedelic states. There, there's a fine balance between the surrender that everyone talks about and your own personal agency that actually shows that you're here to do the work, right? To work with that substance to work with that healing mechanism. And I also added the fourth S is support, uh, which I do feel that is an inseparable part of the experience, really. Um, understanding that this journey, if you will, right, the psychedelic journey is really a microcosm of our entire human experience. And as such, we are beings that need connection, we need support from one another. There's an amazing saying by Ram Dass that most of you probably know, we, we're all here to walk each other home. So we're all here to walk each other home, and the whole idea of the community circles, for example, is for people to, again, meet the others, right? See that there are tons of people that are doing this work that are going through very similar things, in fact. And so it's pretty amazing how in uh, these integration circles, people just you know come from like you know different parts of town and sometimes don't even know each other, and then, they start talking and they see that they're going through the same thing because we tap